Hello, Father James Kabicki here, and if you're like me, someone who was baptized as a baby, you don't remember the prayer that was said over you when you were anointed with sacred chrism. Sacred chrism, you'll recall, is the perfumed oil that's blessed on Holy Thursday by the bishop and used to consecrate the altar and walls of new churches and the hands of a new priest. It was also used to consecrate you at your baptism, and the prayer that was said goes like this. God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, has freed you from sin, given you a new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and welcomed you into his holy people. He now anoints you with the chrism of salvation. As Christ was anointed priest, prophet, and king, so may you live always as a member of his body, sharing everlasting life. Now, here's a question for you. What's more significant, to be baptized or to be elected pope? The answer is baptized. But don't take my word for it. Here's what Pope John Paul wrote in his book, Crossing the Threshold of Hope. It was usual to say as early as the era of the Church Fathers, Christianus alter Christus, the Christian is another Christ, meaning by this to emphasize the dignity of the baptized and his vocation through Christ to holiness. Christianus, or Christian, has far greater significance than Episcopus, or Bishop, even if the subject is the Bishop of Rome. In other words, being consecrated at baptism carries a greater dignity than being made Pope. Wouldn't it be great if we lived our lives aware of the great dignity we received at baptism?